Step one of identifying scales without a key signature. Figure out how far the first note is from the third note. The distance between an E and a G is a minor third, which is also three semitones. If you need help doing that, draw a piano and count from the bottom to your, uh, from your tonic to your third note. Step two, we need to see what we would usually get in E minor because we've had a minor third for this interval. We're going to count from A, which is our minor reference point, around to E, our tonic. One turn clockwise means we have one sharp. And that sharp is F sharp, so I'm going to write it up here so I don't forget. So what we're expecting is for the white button, whiteboard marker to work. Ah, oh, there we go. Can you see that? So we're just expecting one sharp and F sharp, okay? And we've got one sharp, but we've got another one. So we're expecting just a normal D, but instead this note here, and I'm going to circle it because it's standing out, it is a semitone higher than what we were expecting. So a minor sounding scale with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh note a semitone higher than what we we're expecting. If you know your scale structures, you'll know that this is a harmonic minor scale. This next scale with no key signature, just accidentals, can be identified in the same way as before. The tonic to the harmony that is the uh, third that's created here, B flat, to a D flat, that's a minor third. So it's some kind of a minor sounding scale. Let's figure out what B flat minor would usually have in its key signature. Counting from the minor, one, two, three, four, five turns anti-clockwise means we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. I might actually just write that up here so I remember it. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Okay, we've got our B flat, so let's give that a tick. We've got our E flat, let's give it a tick. We've got our D flat, let's give it a tick. And the B flat at the top as well. What we don't have is an A flat or a G flat. So let's find them. We're expecting this note to be an A flat. I'm going to write that above it. And we're expecting this G to be a G flat. But instead, it's a normal G and a normal A, or a natural G and a natural A. So, what number are these scale degrees? One, two, three, four, five. They're numbers six and seven. So a natural, uh, sorry, a minor sounding scale with a sixth and a seventh degree that has been raised up one semitone. If you know your scale structures, you know that the answer is a melodic minor scale. This next example in identifying scales without a key signature, you follow exactly the same approach. So the first note, the tonic, to the note that is creating the third harmony, looks like we've got a D to an F sharp, and that is a major third. So we've got some kind of major scale here. Now the tonic is D, so let's see what we normally get in D major. Counting from a major reference point, which is C, count around to D, one, two turns, so we would usually have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, okay? We've got the F sharp, but the C sharp isn't there. So I'm gonna circle this note because it's not what I expected it to be. I'm gonna write what I expected it to be. 
So the C sharp has been put down one semitone and it has been made a natural. Now if you know your scale structures, you already know the answer. A major sounding scale with a seventh that has been flattened, well that is a mixolydian scale.